I have learned that if one advances confidently in the direction of his dreams and endeavors to live the life he has imagined, he will meet with a success unexpected in common hours. Henry David Thoreau. My friends, please advance confidently in the direction of your dreams. Endeavor to live the life you have imagined. Spend 10 to 15 minutes with us learning to track the charts, to follow price movement, to differentiate between what is real and what is not real. And many times what you hear on the news is put out just to keep you tuned into the commercials. What's real is price movement and what we see on these charts. This is reality. This is what's happening in the real world as opposed to what you're told in the imaginary world of the media, financial media, regular media, social media, whatever it might be. Watch the charts. Let's jump into these charts. By the way, Patreon friends, we published for you today the latest charting crypto. I think you're going to love it. We're using real charts, real cryptocurrencies. I think you'll find it a breath of fresh air. If you want to know more about what we do as far as cryptocurrencies and such, we do chart every day for you Bitcoin, which is down for the day. So again, please stay tuned. Always, we'll get to it as we push through these charts. Let's first start with the S&P 500. Now, let me go to regular hours. I was in the after hours. There we go. So regular hours, we see the S&P 500 and the NASDAQ 100 down just over a percent. Again, moving in the direction of those two-day recrosses. Big red down candle that is forming price percent oscillator heading down, derivative oscillator heading down on that weekly chart. When we look at the two-day chart, this is of course representing Tuesday and Wednesday, this latest two-day candle, big red down candle, price percent oscillator, derivative oscillator, headed down. Again, red down candle, it has finished forming and it is going down rather strongly. Uh, again, we'll redraw that two-day trend line to update it but we can see that hockey stick of an effect with this latest down push. We look at the half day and we can redraw that trend line also and look at all those candles we connect. Again, with strong down movement in the price percent and derivative oscillator, that two-day recross has been going gangbusters for you guys. Again, lots of downward pressure. How long will things go down? How hard will this be a hit? Don't know at this point. We just know that we're short and we're doing fine. Now, let's go to the NASDAQ 100 tech stocks as depicted by QQQ down 1.10%. Again, big red down candle, lower low price percent oscillator, derivative oscillator headed down on the short chart for the week. And when I say that, I mean not open on Monday, Martin Luther King holiday, so only four days this week. What do we see on this latest two-day chart? It's heading down also, price percent oscillator, derivative oscillator heading down. And we look at the half day, same thing, strong down movement across the board. So again, this two-day recross we had also on the NASDAQ 100 has been doing very, very well for us. We talked about the way you can short the market. Of course, we have that training for our Patreon members. Uh, Options Made Simple, the Charting Wealth Way three-part series. If you're a Patreon member, by all means, take that so you can learn how to actually practice trade puts in a situation like this. Otherwise, we encourage you to practice PSQ for QQQ. That's a short chart. We can show you what that looks like. It's an inverse chart, PSQ. We showed that yesterday and put out that training we have on inverse charts. You can see that it moves up as the underlying ETF, the NASDAQ, um, the NASDAQ 100 QQQ moves down. This is what you call an inverse chart. It's set up with derivatives to move percentage-wise in the opposite direction. You can see the price is much different, but it's set up to move percentage-wise. Now, again, much higher fees on those. Uh, many times they are recalculated on a daily basis. So 
you got to practice trade it to know what it's about, whether you like it or not. Not made for long-term holding, but can actually be a great vehicle for you to practice trade with when you see bouts of hammer downs. Now, let's move on to 20-year bonds. They recovered a little bit today, up 0.69%. When we look at the weekly chart, we can still nonetheless see lower low so far this week. Big strong red down candle, price percent oscillator, derivative oscillator, all, all heading down. We look at the two-day chart. Again, strong two-day candle going down, price percent oscillator. Derivative oscillator is losing some downward momentum. As we get to the half day, you can see where things were up for the day. Although the price percent oscillator is still negative, derivative oscillator is about flat. So again, still lots of downward pressure on bonds. Now again, as positions unwind, if the stock market keeps going down, at some point maybe bonds will recover fully, move in the opposite direction. Not happening yet, at least on our big charts. What do we see in gold? A bright spot. We talked about that yesterday. Up for the day. 1.59%. Nice to see. Big green up candle heading up. Price percent oscillator spiking up. Derivative oscillator spiking up. Gold is looking nice. Look at this two-day. It's poised to do this. Nice two-day candle. Does have a long wick on top. We'd rather see a bigger candle, but heading up. Derivative oscillator heading up also. And on that half day up in the morning, little further up in the afternoon. So looking quite nice on gold. We'll redraw That's how easy it is to do on these charts. People ask, what charts are you using? This is TC2000, the paid version of freestockcharts.com. If you look in the show notes, you have a $25 off coupon there you can use. If you want to get serious and sign up, they also have a brokerage service. You can actually uh, there's a paper trading practice, which is what I have it set on right now. You can practice trade for free. And then when you get ready to move, you can trade right from the chart. So we see, again, gold just heading on up. That is wonderful. For those of you who were long gold, you've been waiting long enough to see it start to rise. Hopefully that will continue. Lastly, we go to Bitcoin. Still lots of downward pressure in the crypto world. For those of you who are really interested in cryptocurrencies, we were talking about one bright spot we've seen from a jumping in point on Cardato lately at 129. So far, we've got a high of 163, which is about a, what is that, a 26 point gain so far, 26%. So that's nice uh, for practice trading. Again, something for you to pay attention to if you're interested in cryptocurrencies. We track those at Charting Crypto over at our Patreon page. Now, we look at where Bitcoin is still heading down, still downward pressure, derivative oscillator losing a little bit of downward momentum today. We can see where things are just sliding along sideways. Price percent oscillator still negative. Derivative oscillator losing a little bit more downward momentum, but still negative. We look at the half day, we can see where things uh, hit the most recent bottom back in the afternoon, Monday the 10th, and then moving up for a couple of days sideways down yesterday and just sideways today up a little, but again, not recovering even what it lost yesterday. So the derivative oscillator is still barely positive, price percent oscillator positive and flat. So again, overall, the overall mood still in Bitcoin and pretty much in the whole crypto world. If you look at the Bitcoin, the Grayscale Bitcoin Trust, you look at Ethereum, you look at the Bitcoin futures, the three that we track, you look at the uh, crypto fund. This is the top 10 cryptocurrencies as per market capitalization. A slow down here recently in the down movement. Price percent oscillator, however, still moving down. Derivative oscillator, a little less than flat. So again, overall, you look at the Bitcoin and the cryptocurrency space, the developers, transformation, all that. All of it, next gen economy, still down. So, this is where we are as we hit the 
Wednesday mark, usually halfway mark, um, uh, we're getting over the hump at this point, actually. We are, because it's a four-day week, we are at the half halfway mark. So we'll continue to see how this market moves the rest of this week. Good news in gold. Good news in gold. It's so nice to see that 1.59% increase. And of course, for those of us shorting the markets as far as the S&P and the Qs, good news there too. Things still going okay on our down move in 20-year bonds, but a little bit of an up move for the day, so pay close attention to that. God bless my friends. All the best from the whole team at Charting Wealth World Headquarters.